Today, we are looking at the Isuzu 117 Coupe, late version, XE, for the 1978 model year kit from Hasegawa Hobby Kits. 124 scale curbside kit. This is going to be the follow-up to the initial release of this tooling, which was done as the 1968 early version, which was released back in 2021. So this will just have some updated parts to convert it to the later version for the 1978 model year. And it is today's Once in the Box. And getting started with the body, as you can see, it's molded in a nice shade of silver. Now we're taking a look at parts tree C, which is the chassis parts tree, which has some, also has the interior bucket. We'll start with the chassis. You can see it's pretty much uh, all the details separate except for the fuel tank, which is nice. So here in the middle we have tie rod, drive shaft, the cross member, the upper or, uh, lower control arms, looks like transmission, two halves, front spindles, radiator, cooler, Upper control arms, choice of pedals you have for five speed or excuse me, manual, automatic. And here we have the interior bucket. Even stripped. And then a suspension subframe piece. Now we're taking a look at parts tree S, which has a little bit of uh, some interior pieces as well as some suspension chassis pieces. So up here at the top you have steering wheel, which likes to be which looks to be two pieces. Front sway bar, top part of the dash, it's the front seats, which are going to be two-piece. Here in the middle we have the interior door panels, as well as the dash. And here we have the rear, uh, the rear seat backs, center console, front grille, headlight opening grille piece. Yeah, that made sense. Steering columns and brakes. Some other pits and pieces. Now we're turning our attention to parts trees V, U, and WB, which are the wheels, some exhaust. And some. Let's take a look at the wheels, which are going to be two piece steel wheels. No, uh, the uh, an outer chrome ring attached to the wheels. Now, here in the middle, parts for you have the rear seat wipers. And then down here in parts V, you have the exhaust and yeah, some other bits. Take a look at Parts Tree D, which is basically you have the rear suspension, the rear axle, leaf springs, the lower half of the engine, and part of the transmission. Sway bars, some brakes, shocks, springs, brakes. I already said that. Now we're going to take a look at Parts Tree's Y. C, Y, D, Y, F, and Y, B, which are the chrome parts trees. You can see there's a lot of chrome parts. Start with Y, F. And so this piece here is the tail light panel. The tail light lenses will attach to it. Down on the bottom are the chrome rings for the wheels. Over here we have some more chrome bits. Not 100% sure what these are all for yet. These are here looks like some scripting, badging. Now we're going to take a look at parts tree YD, which is going to be the front and rear bumpers. Down here in the middle, we have the headlight buckets, some more chrome pieces. And down here, which will be parts tree YB, you have the rear view mirror, exterior door handles, chrome 
strip pieces for their lower by the lower rocker panels. Now we're taking a look at parts trees F and G, which are basically body parts. So we have uh, the cowl and the lower front lower front fascia piece. Here we have mirrors, two piece looks like, and whatever that piece is for. Now we're taking a look at parts trees ZA, ZB, and ZF, which are the clear parts. Start up here with a ZF, which has the uh, headlight lenses and indicator lenses for the front bumper. And then here, we have two choices of rear windows, one with the defrosters, one without. And here in the middle, you have the front windows, the rear windows, the, the quarter windows, what, B quarter windows, B pillar windows. And then down here, you have the front windshield along with the tail lights and some more indicator and marker lights. Now we're taking a look at the decal sheet. You can see it's pretty full. You have some instrument gauge options. You have one with all the stuff on the decal. And you have a separate trim, the wood trim and separate gauges. Now we're taking a look at the blank side wall. Roundy rounds, nothing special about them. And a set of poly caps. Now moving on to the instruction book. I would imagine if you can get yourself some Isuzu paint codes, James and his skill finisher, you should be able to get them mixed up for you. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the Isuzu 117 Coupe late version. XE for the 1978 model year kit from Hasegawa. And on that note, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.